And by that, Theo, is it time actually to do some kind of wrap up and summarize what is the burning platform and what should we do going forward? So Theo, our president. Uh, good morning, afternoon and evening. I'm proud to, that I can say this because I know we have people from all over the world enjoying this webinar. I want to take this uh, moment to express my gratitude to each and every one of you for being part of this webinar called Making Strides in Sustainability. Your presence and active participation show the importance we all see of sustainability for the future of our sport. In today's rapidly evolving world, the value of knowledge and information exchange cannot be overstated. However, we also have to realize that creating awareness can be confronting and lead to certain behavior. However, your engagement, insight, questions and contribution enriched the discussions and I'm confident that we all will walk away with a deeper understanding of greenhouse gases the need to reduce them in the future, and thus the need to change the way we live, work, and compete with our horses. Having said that, and realizing what we just discussed, that maybe the people in this uh, webinar are already convinced that we need to change, this is also giving you an extra responsibility because you have to go out and convince other people about the need to change and why. And if you have the awareness, the information necessary for that, you have also the tools to do that job. I also want to acknowledge the work of our speakers. Toin Velenga, Iris Huisman, and Hassan Biskar Komle from the University of Wageningen. And I'm not saying that, I say Natalie Waran. The chair of the Equin Ethics and Wellbeing Commission of the FEI. I had a privilege to work with all of them for some time. And it's not only their know-how that is big, but it's their dedication and also being let's say, convinced that we have to do something here. I thank you very much. I also thank our EEF staff that has made this all possible and the work they have done to make it a successful webinar. It's all your experience and passion that were instrumental in delivering a meaningful and informative session for all interested in the equestrian sport. Remember that the impact of webinars like these extends beyond the virtual space. It's our collective commitment to applying what we have learned that will drive positive change in sustainability and horse welfare for our sport in the world at large. Natalie, I give you an answer on your question. I don't believe that you can have horse welfare if you don't have a sustainable environment. And that's why I always have said that to you, and maybe I put too much pressure on you, but that's my firm belief. Once again, thank you for your time and your unwavering support. We, the EEF, look forward to welcome you in our future events as we continue explore, learn, and grow together. To become a sustainable sport is a must, and we all have to deliver to make this happening. I wish you all a successful future and a fulfillment in, of your actions in the future. Thank you very much.